45 minutes of torture, starting with a phone call. As soon as I picked up the phone, all I heard was screaming, like frantic Hello. screaming, yelling, cursing. Aesthetician Stacy Juke says she gets calls from unknown numbers all the time. It's part of her job. This one was different. He said, hey, Stacy, we have your mom, Sharon, um, and I need you to follow directions really closely. Juke says the man calling from a number with a Mexican country code knew her mother was in Texas, told her she was being held hostage and would be killed unless she listened closely. It was immediate, like, shaky hands, you know, shaky voice, cry. I started tearing up. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. The man instructing Jukes to keep him on the phone while she drove to the bank. He wanted $1,500 sent via MoneyGram to Mexico City. It was intense and it was, you know, it just was too real. I'm gonna kill your son, okay? I'm not around, all right? The story almost identical to the one given to a California man just a few days later. This report made by Palm Springs Station KESQ. Exact same voice. Juke said she slid notes to the bank tellers, but it was a CVS clerk that saved the day and actually called Juke's mom. He said, this is CVS calling from Omaha. Sharon Bain was eating lunch. She thinks that you've been abducted in Houston. I said, I am perfectly fine in Houston. There is nothing going on. The uncertainty resolved before Jukes could actually send the money to the scammer. This is a billion uh, dollar industry, um, these imposter scams. Jim Hagerty with the Better Business Bureau says this virtual kidnapping scheme is simply a new twist to existing scams. Might be the same exact group that's calling people, telling them that they're the IRS. The con artists often using social media to dig up personal information Bain admits she posted this photo from a Houston brewery just a few days before the incident. A lesson for mother and daughter that neither will soon forget. This was by far one of the most stressful situations that I've ever been in. So be careful about what you're posting publicly because scam artists are watching. In Omaha, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.